Hi, this is Edwin Abrahamian with Ceratech, and today we'll be talking about PMI. So PMI stands for Product Manufacturing Information. It's very similar to drawings or just being in the 2D drafting space where you basically have different views established and within those views, you have your dimensions and GD&T to define your product or part. So what I'll be showing you is where PMI is and we'll be establishing a few dimensions just to show you what that interface looks like. So I have a model open, it's my caliper model. And first thing I wanna show you is the model views. So like I said, the PMI is baked into or lives in these views. So if I go to my model views up top here and I select my section view, uh, you'll see that I have a section and I have a surface profile tolerance or GD&T established for this view. Um, additionally, I have my trimetric view with a lot of PMI baked in here as well. So these views, um, or these dimensions rather, you can adjust as needed, uh, which I'll show you how to do that shortly. So the next thing I want to show you is a view set. So you can also go into your model views and right click and add a view set. So that enables you to basically pre-select what views you'd like in that set. Once you have that determined, you can go ahead and modify those views and add PMI into those views as needed. So it keeps it very orderly so all your PMI lives in one place. In this example, however, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new view. So I'm gonna orient my part and I'm gonna go ahead and right click and do add view. Once I did that, I can then go ahead and um, maneuver or position my part as I'd like and snap to a plane. And then I can go and rename this view. So I'll call it front PMI. And then I'll go ahead and save this as well. All right, so once that's done, I can now add my dimensions and GD&T and notes, etc. So on the top here is the PMI tab. As I do that, the ribbon modifies to show all the different options in PMI. And now I can go and add some rapid dimensions. So selecting this, I can go and add, uh, I can go and select these holes. So find the distance between these holes. I can select points. I can go ahead and switch over to the radial and select my hole here. And as I pause, I can then see the additional options that I can add to my dimension or information I can bake in. So this is actually two times. I can add a tolerance to this, which would be a 06 tolerance, and it's a through hole. So I'll place that. And then I can go ahead and add a feature control frame. So some additional GD&T. And here I've already had it created, but basically you can go and change your characteristics. So in this case, it's a positional tolerance. Um, of o, uh, O5, max material condition, but um, I've also, uh, you can also add your primary datum reference. So in this case, it's datums A, B, and C. And once you have that established uh, by toggling it in this dialog box, uh, you can go and lock it to that dimension. All right. So now I have three different entities defined in this view. The last thing I want to show is you can see how they're all sitting in a different plane. I actually want this dimension to sit in the same plane as the other two. So you can modify these dimensions. And as I do that, there is an option with uh, underneath the orientation where you can specify plane. So there's different uh, options or ways you can specify that plane, but I'm just going to go ahead and do inferred and select this space. Once that's done, you can see how it snaps to that position or to that face. Um, and you can see they're all on the same plane now. So I can also toggle between views. Lastly, just to show you that it is set. So my front PMI now is established and it lives within this front PMI model view. So that concludes uh, this video. It's a quick introduction to PMI. Uh, hopefully that sheds some light on how to add dimensions and create views. Um, please subscribe and uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information.
And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.